What's up, Slash? How are you? My topic is how industrial scale nanomaterials are manufactured in a few seconds. We are running out of resources. The Earth cannot handle how much we consume. We need to reduce our material consumption dramatically, not by 10%, much more. We need to multiply this one barrel of material to hundreds of barrels of material. Don't worry, we already know how to do that. By using foams, the outlook and feel of the product doesn't change. Only the inside is replaced by 99% air and only teeny tiny bit of material. We can make super strong car bodies that are feather light. Gotcha. Especially, this is important when dealing nanomaterials. Each and every nanoparticle is expensive. We want to put them where they matter the most, at the bubble boundary, where they make super strong structures. We can already do this for 20 particles. 20, I want to make industrial scale, huge sets of particles. Why I should do it? Well, I'm one of the best. I am here, aren't I? I also hang out with the best, starting from Ivy League professors, Russian mega grant winners, academy fellows, and strong industrial connections. Together, the goal is to produce nano-reinforced foams with stable and robust method. This is what we want to do, stable and robust. No more lab scale. If I am chosen as a winner, it depends on you guys. I will, during the next year, I will create a foam slurry, mold it in acoustic fields, freeze it to a product and sell it in six seconds. It's already been done in a lab scale. See these guys, Nature 2060. Thank you. Thank you, Juha. That was quite a show. And now for a word from our judges. Kitty, please. I am a total layperson in this area and you were dazzling me with your fantastic show, but I would like to understand about the science because I am also a scientist and this is a science uh, contest. What is the yes. most important finding in your research so far which paves the way to what you are now claiming that you will do with 100,000 100, euros in six, was it six months? Um, six seconds. Six seconds, yeah. <laughs> There is three parts. In University of Pennsylvania, there is a model called Darian model. He was my advisor. Then it, it's a bubble model. The second part is from Lyon, from L'Oreal, where they discovered that there is an advanced pickering stabilization that you can make bubbles that last tens of times longer. They prefer to be in a certain location, but you need to treat them right. And using these two, combining this wow effect of uh, 3D <laughs> levitation, you can create any structures. You can force the particles just in the right place. And when you do that, so you can do this in a lab scale, but when you do that in industrial scale, you can gain much, much more. So this is the combination of all these. So we want to control the manufacturing process in a large scale. 
we want to reduce the internal stresses in the foam and make it everyday use from out from the lab to the wild. Tell something about the materials that you're going to replace. Um, well, I have the fire extinguisher. Uh, the, the, okay, so the German uh, chemical giant Bass is making uh, car bodies, so in a lab scale. So they are replacing styrofoam with metal oxide. And they use it to airplane and car bodies, well, planning to use it in a lab scale again. Then the second one is cell phone batteries, so you can make lithium foams. Okay, these are a bit dangerous, they tend to explode a bit. But the idea here is stable and robust. So there are new sciences that make this possible, but they are in a lab. And now the idea is to learn how to make them in a large scale. Great. Thank okay. you, Yuha. Thank you. Cheers. Don't, don't forget your fire extinguisher. Take it with I'll you. I'll take please. that with you.